Hi there, welcome to Art from the Cottage. So today I'm going to paint a sort of lakeside scene. Um, but before I get into the video, I just want to say I'm so excited that today the, or this weekend, I've just hit 2,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So I'm so grateful to you, to all you subscribers. Thank you very much indeed. So you'll see that I have painted the sky in various shades of very dark blue, midnight blue. Um, I usually leave it patchy so that there's you can actually see the different shades of blue underneath there. And I put in a rough sketch. I want a lake and some um, mountains. So not quite sure if I'll use... Um, the actual sketch yet, I, I might adapt it slightly. So the colours that I'm using today are cerulean blue, indigo blue, white, cream, a creamy yellow, which I mixed myself obviously with just some yellow and some cream, um, and uh, pink, which I mixed from a red and a cream, um, and burnt umber, raw and raw sienna, and black. And those are the basic colours that I'm using today. And so what I usually do is I work on one section at a time, and then I let that dry and work on another section. So the sky, the dark midnight blue, is drying at the moment. So I'm just sort of outlining the mountains where they're going to be. And I probably will change the um, the mountains later on, but I, I just put them in for now and, and see what I decide to do. And I think this is where I want to put the lake. So I'll just put in some very pale cerulean blue where that lake is probably going to be. But of course, you know, it's all got to have um, some detail in it. And I'm just putting in the, um, the first layer of cloud there. So I'm just going to work out where the clouds are going to be, where this, you know, where everything's going to be, the sky, the mountains and the lake. Um, and it's just the basic, very basics at the moment. And I'm just trying to work out a nice shape for the clouds um, and, you know, just, just put those in there. And so you'll see that I've started to work on the cloud, what I call the undercloud. It's the first layer of cloud and there'll be many, many layers of, of cloud. And I'm just using a cream and various different colours. I'm going to put some pink, I think, into that sky. And... Um, as I said before, the, the way I get my pink is a, a nice red, um, any red that you, you like, and predominantly um, white or cream. And how I get my cream is I just put a dash of, um, of yellow ochre into the white until I've got a nice cream. So I'm just um, outlining those mountains in the background so that I don't forget where they are, basically. But, I mean, that will be covered. It's just to, it's just to um, remind me that they're there or they're going to be there. I'm just putting some um, dark um, colour, really, in the lower mountains. And that's basically just a burnt umber and some black, uh, maybe a little bit of indigo in there. And some pale... Um, lovely cerulean blue where the lake is going to be. So I'm starting with the um, second layer of cloud and I'm making sure that I leave some of the first layer um, showing underneath. I'm not completely covering it with the cream. So a lot of this um, cloud I put in with my fingers I blend it with my fingers and I drag it and, you know, I, I tend to put the paint on with a brush and then put, I use my fingers on it. 
um, and make nice shapes that I think look nice, you know, with the sort of wispy clouds. So at the moment, it's just really a sketch, a painted sketch. And, um, and then we have to put in the detail. So now I'm starting to put in some lights and darks and a little bit of um, detail into the sketch. I'm adding another layer into the cloud and this time it's pink. I've mixed a nice pale pink, a really um, rose pink, I think you call it. And I'm adding that into the into the cloud. And I think I might put a little bit of creamy yellow into it as well. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm bringing the um, paint down into the mountains so that there's not such a hard line between the sky and the mountain. So I always keep another painting on the right of my um, painting that I'm working on because it reminds me of the colours that I've used in various paintings. Um, and I, I, um, I use it as a reference for colours that I've used before that work really well and look lovely. Um, so that's what the painting on the right is doing, in case you wondered. Now I'm putting in a lovely creamy yellow underneath that rose pink. And I'm being, you know, careful again to expose the, the uh, layer underneath it. And you'll see that I'm bringing it right down into um, the mountains just to soften the uh, top of the mountains and make it look like it's misty. I don't like hard, too hard lines. And now I'm going to start putting in some highlights um, in the sky around that beautiful rose pink and that lovely creamy yellow. Um, and I'm exposing those beautiful blues and greys underneath in previous layers. Um, and um, I'm just using a cream for this, a lovely cream. And it contrasts with yellow. It looks, it looks lovely. So here's a little tip for you. Um, don't waste paint. Cut off the, um, when you get low on your paint, cut off the tube and use those, um, those, you know, that you use for sandwich bags and freezer bags and things. And you get a lot more out of your paint. So there's a little tip for you. So I've decided that uh, it's so beautiful, that creamy yellow that I'll put some more in um, on the, um, you know, just over the mountains. Um, and it does, it does look lovely. So I'll just put a little bit more of that in. And coming almost to the end of the painting here, it's just a few little bits to put in. You know, you can go on for hours and hours with these um, skies, and, and well, just with the painting in general. And sometimes when I finished painting um, for my demonstration here on YouTube, I, you know, I, I change it again. I change the sky or I change something um, before it goes into uh, my gallery, one of my galleries. So, you know, you, you can always improve. And sometimes you look at it the next day and you think, oh, that would look nice with, you know, a bit of this or a bit of that. And that's what you can do. You can you can just change it. And then when you finish the entire painting and you're sure that you finished it, you can varnish it. And that brings out all the color. It just pops. It just looks so professional and nice. Um, and it makes an acrylic painting look like a oil painting. Well, I find anyway. So just working on the foreground, you see that I've scratched into the paint. I just used my fingernails. You see that I've scratched into the paint um, to make some sort of stalks and things. 
and um, I'm just using a um, a brush here and just scratching into it with my finger. Put the paint on and then scratch into it and just make some little marks that resemble some um, grasses and things like that on the bank on the bank of the lake. So I'm at the end of the painting really, um, just adding some seed heads and stalks and grasses and that kind of thing and just using a little bit of raw umber or you know raw sienna or something like that just to create an illusion of grasses so that's about it for today i hope you've enjoyed the video and it would be wonderful if you did this decide to subscribe to my channel to see future videos and it would be lovely if you could press the thumbs up button. You can support my channel with the super thanks or simply just by subscribing, really. Um, so with that, I'll say bye for now. And as always, love from Cornwall.